Okay, today we're going to be looking at the logarithmic form of the inverse hyperbolic functions. We're going to start with uh, sine. So first you write y equals to sine minus 1x. So we're going to try to find y. And in order to do that, we need to move sine over, uh, arc sine over, so we get sine y. And then we're going to use the definition of sine, which is e y minus e minus y over two. Moving the uh, moving this over here, and then basically you want to move everything to one side so that you get something that looks like this. And then you multiply everything by e to the power y, so then you get a quadratic. And then you can solve for e y using the quadratic formula. So that's negative b, so negative b plus minus b squared minus 4 a c over 2a simplifying this we get something like this so that's 4x squared plus 4 divided by 2 and then simplifying further we get this now <clears throat> we need to make y the subtract so we're gonna write it like that. Basically we're taking ln on both sides. So that's going to give us x plus minus square root of x squared plus 1. But the thing is, um, if I take x squared and I square root that, I'm going to get x, right? However, if I take x squared plus 1 and I square root that, I'm going to get something that is bigger than the square root of x squared which is x. So if I take x and I subtract by square root of x squared plus 1, I'm going to get a negative number. And the ln of a negative number is not defined. So we can't keep the negative sign here. So this has to be a positive sign. <clears throat> OK, so next up, the we have y equals to cosh minus 1x so x is equals to cosh y so using the definition of cosh we get e y plus e minus y divided by 2 and then doing the exact same thing as what we did earlier um, we just get this plus this 0 equals to e y minus e minus y minus 2x, oh sorry, this should be plus, and uh, multiplying by ey, we get, oops, hang on, 2xey plus 1. And then using the quadratic formula, we get negative negative 2x plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Simplifying this, we get this guy. Oh, sorry, it should be a minus. And we end up with this. And yet again, we have y equals to ln x plus minus square root of x squared minus 1. So in this case, uh, <clears throat> can we retain the negative sign? If you think about it, if I take x and I subtract by x squared minus 1, so square root of x squared minus 1 is actually going to be smaller than the square root of x squared, which is x. So if you think of, if you go with that logic, then you should be able to retain the negative sign, right? 
However, it's over there. So the red line is the Koch graph. Let's label that. The blue line is y equals to x. And the green line is r Koch x. The red line um, is not a one to one function. So when we try to invert this, what we should have done in the first place was restrict the domain so that it is a one to one function. So we should have done something like, uh, you know, saying that x is greater than or equals to zero, or we could say x is less than or equals to zero. Now, by convention, um, when we try to find up cosh, we always take the positive instead of the negative one because we want up cosh to be positive so this is by convention so by convention we ignore the negative sign there All right though technically both of them are acceptable depending on the domain of cosh. So if your domain, so if cosh x has a domain of x less than or equal to zero, then cosh minus one x is going to be less than or equal to zero. Now if cosh x has a domain of x greater than or equal to zero, then arc cosh x would be greater than or equal to zero. Next up, we have tench. Arc tench x. So we have uh, x equals to arc tench y. And then using the definition of tench, e y minus e minus y over e y plus e minus y then we move this up here expand this And rearrange it. Finally, we take the ln of both of both sides, and we end up with this ln one plus x over one minus x, and y is equals to half of this. Next up, we look at uh, cough. So y equals to cough minus one x. And it's x equals to cough y. And 
we're just doing the same thing again. So go with this. And there you go. Okay, next up, let's look at search minus one x y equals to that. So um, x is equals to search minus one y. So search is actually um, <coughs> one over cos. You look at the third letter here. So that means we should get two over e y plus e minus y. So moving this over here, and then we're going to move this right there. So solving this using the quadratic formula, we get e y equals to Actually, before that, multiply everything by e to the power y, which means we get this. So now it looks like a quadratic. And then solving using the quadratic formula, we get ey equals to negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a <coughs> 2 plus minus 4 minus 4x squared divided by 2x and simplifying this we get 1 plus minus 1 minus x squared over x taking ln on both sides we get y equals to ln 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus x squared over x. Using decimals, um, we get this graph here for search x. And as you can see, uh, the red line, which is search x, is not a one-to-one -one function because it fails the horizontal line test. Okay. Regardless, by convention, we always take the domain to be x is greater than or equal to zero. But the other reason here is because in order to invert a function, it has to be one to one, right? So we're going to say x is greater than or equal to zero. We have to restrict the domain. And then if we restrict the domain to x is greater than or equal to zero, you see that only this part here gets flipped. So you get this green line. So search minus 1x would be greater than or equal to 0. So in order for that to be true, we have to retain the positive sign and ignore the negative sign. Finally, we have cosearch. So we have y equals to cosearch minus 1x. x is equals to cosearch y which is actually 2 over ey minus e minus y. Yeah, so the letter is an s, so it's 1 over sinh. So moving this over here, and this is equal to 2. 
And then we're going to move everything over to one side so that we get a quadratic eventually. Multiplying everything by EY. And then solving for EY, we get negative B plus minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Simplifying this, we get 4 plus 4x squared divided by 2x. So here we get y is equals to ln 1 plus minus 1 plus x squared over x. So by convention, the domain for cosage actually yeah. so using Desmos um, and you if you plot cosage and arc cosage you're gonna get something like this and if you look at the red line, you see that it is already a one-to-one -one function. So technically, for arc cosage, you should be able to accept both plus and minus because um, <coughs> it is already a one-to-one -one function. <coughs> However, by convention, we are going to only accept the positive sign. So this becomes just plus.